Hospital numbers peaking across the state, leaving many health facilities strained. RJ Burr is in Batesville tonight outside White River Medical Center where they are maxed out, Jay. Yeah, absolutely, Laura. In fact, it was just on Friday that White River Medical Center reported having 23 COVID patients in their facility. They have since doubled that number in a matter of four days. COVID numbers in Arkansas are staggering lately. It's almost easier to say who isn't impacted right now than it is who is because it's just, it's very, very prevalent. President and CEO of White River Medical System, Gary Paxson, said their COVID patient count exploded in the past week. We are now at the peak of where we were in the last wave, and we don't think the peak has yet hit. WRMC has had to look to possible expansion contingencies if they get many more COVID patients. We had to come up with plan, pick a letter, because now we're, we're trying to figure out where else can we put patients. Just like most hospitals, they have their share of staffing issues. They brought back protocols from earlier in the pandemic, such as one person per table in the cafeteria, staff who can work from home are, and encouraging shots and boosters. Wash, rinse, repeat from the last two years. It's, it's all the things that you talked about. It's wearing the mask, wash your hands, encouraging vaccines, encouraging boosters. Paxson said they prepped for this moment when the numbers started trending upward. He hopes Arkansas will trend like other places that have seen rapid spikes from Omicron. We're hopeful, two things, A, that it comes down fast, and two, does this finally get us to herd immunity? Now, we've heard some modeling ha has said that this wave of COVID could start dissipating by the end of January. Paxson says some of the things that they have looked into has that more in the middle of February. Live from the White River Medical Center here in Batesville, Jay Burr, KRK, 4 News.